What's going on, everybody? It's the Fifth Avenue Project. All right, so this is going to be part three of the four-part series. Um, in the first two parts, we talked about what a VPN is, why you may want to use it. In the second video, we spoke about the differences between a paid VPN and a free VPN. Now, if you absorb those two videos, you understand the pros and cons of a free VPN and a paid VPN, and you want to test your luck with a free VPN, the first one I would recommend is BetterNet VPN. It's a free VPN service. I've used this in the past. Before I, before I switched over to um, IP Vanish and um, things like HMA, Hide My Ass, I was using this in the past. It's about as good as a free VPN can get. But you know, you guys know the cons of a free VPN. I'm not going to go over it again in this video. If you guys didn't watch my previous videos, be sure to go ahead and um, click on part one and part two so you can understand what a VPN is and the pros and cons of a free VPN service. That being said, BetterNet VPN service. Here's why I like it. One, of course, it's free. There's no registration required. You don't get any pop-ups when you use it. Ads don't just come out of nowhere when you're using it. Your connection speed does get bogged down a little bit, but keep in mind that happens with any VPN for the mere fact that you're connecting to multiple servers before you get to the, the destination server. Other thing I like about it is it covers a lot of platforms. You see right here, iOS, Android, Windows, and you got it for your browsers as well. This is a big plus right here. BetterNet does not keep any logs. Or show your um, or show you irritating ads. Now with the logs, there can never be any guarantee with that. They say it, but being that it's free, you know, do you really trust it? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. But they do state it on their on their um, page. They show you how they actually make money. You see it right here. I'll let you guys read this. I'll read the first one to you. By offering free sponsored apps, there's an install and app button inside our mobile app. When you click on this button, you are offered other apps for installation. For each app applied, BetterNet earns money from the app publishers. So they're telling you how they get their money. You see right here by offering videos. By clicking on the watch a video and connect button inside the BetterNet app, you can watch a short video. Every time you watch a video, you help BetterNet earn money. So they're showing you how they get their money. A lot of people, they don't have this. This is what I like about it because at least you see some way that they make money by offering you a free service, you see how they make the money. Now, there's some free services out there. They just, you boom, you go to the Google store. You don't know how they make their money. They make promises, but how you know they're keeping those promises? How you know your data is encrypted? And how are they making money? What's in it for them? I like the fact that BetterNet at least gives you some type of explanation of how they make their money. So to me, that, that adds credibility. I'll let you guys read the rest of this. So you could download the app. In this situation, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly run through it on Windows. I'm not, I can't do every single one of these, depending on the device that you guys have. I'll let you guys install it. It's a pretty straightforward process. It's anybody could do it. You don't have to be really tech savvy. If anything, there's forums on it. There's many users that use BetterNet, but I'm just gonna show you Windows being I'm on a Windows machine. Do it real quick. All right, so you see it's downloading right here. Okay, once you have that, open it up. Going to click yes, install. All right, so I'm just going to fast forward this part a little bit to save some time. All right, installation is complete, and it requires um, a reboot if you're installing it on Windows. I'm gonna reboot it now. I'll transition the video to after the reboot is complete. All right, I just performed the reboot. We're back in it here, as you can see. All right, so to continue the installation, real simple, click Next, and then you hit Install. You just let that install. And then you see it here. You're going to get a sign here. Would you like to install this device software? You click install. All right, so you see it right here. Install shield wizard completed. All right, and once you click finish, 
should open up. All right, so you see right here, all you have to do is click connect and boom, you're anonymous. You could click menu and then you could click reconnect automatically if you want to always have it on or you could just click connect when you're opening up a certain app and in this case like something like Cody it's all up to you though so there you go guys that's one way to do it that's uh, that's how you do it on the Windows machine I'm gonna show you how to sideload a free VPN onto your fire stick and instead of using better net I'm just gonna use another free VPN service while I'm at it but all in all what I would recommend you guys do is um if you want to test out how much the VPN affects your speed, once you install BetterNet, as you see in this video, head over to a, a website called speedtest.net. What you could do here is test your speed before you click connect, and then connect it and test your speed again and see how much of a hit you take with um, BetterNet VPN. Now, typically, you're going to lose about 20 to 30 percent minimum if you're lucky but just try to test it out and see what you get you might get like only a 10 20 percent hit that's about average it could be worse and if you're using something like quantum and you're getting something like 100 megabits per second even if you're using better than and even if you lose 20 30 percent you're still going to have a lightning fast speed with the added addition of um remaining anonymous with uh, one of the best free vpn services out there in my opinion so just give that a shot guys i'm going to quickly go over to another vpn service but this time we're going to load it up to a fire stick and i'm going to select another free vpn service all right so we're over at our fire stick and what i want to do is i want to show you guys how to install ultra surf the best way to do this is to go over to google play on your android device and side load it so let's quickly go over to the google play store and i'll show you how to get the side loaded all right, so you just go over to the Google Play Store. Search for Ultra Surf. Ultra Surf. And this is what you're going to download. So you click install. You accept that. All right, so everything's installed. Once you do that, make sure you have something called Apps to Fire. Okay, make sure you have Apps to Fire. I already have it installed, but if you don't, you're going to hit Install. Once you have Apps to Fire installed and Ultra Surf installed, open up Apps to Fire. Okay, so if you look at the upper left hand corner of the screen, you see where it says local apps? Those are all the apps on your Android device. All you need to do is go to Setup now. See on the upper right hand corner, next to Fire TV SD card. You're going to click that. Now where it says IP address of your Fire TV, you're going to enter the IP address of your Fire TV stick. Let's go back over to our Fire TV stick to find an IP address. So back over at the Fire TV stick, you're going to hit settings at the bottom here. You go all the way over to where it says system right here. You hit that. You're going to go to about. And then you're going to go to network. You see where it says IP address there? 192.168.1.5. You're going to look for your IP address. Write that down and then head back over to your other Android device. All right, so we're back over to our Android device in Apps to Fire. I entered the IP address I just grabbed from the Fire TV stick. So we're going to hit save here. IP address saved. Now we go back over to local apps. Now you're going to find the Ultra Surf VPN. So let's look for that. Alphabetical order. 
You see it right here. You hit install. Ultra Surf. Hit install. Installation successful. Now when you go back over to your Amazon Fire TV stick and you look under apps, you will see the Ultra Surf VPN. Open that up. And all you gotta do to connect is switch the on button. See this? Connecting. Now it's connecting. There you go. That's a VPN free VPN. What I'm gonna do here is point out another several VPNs you guys can use. Instead of me going through the exact same steps, the process of sideloading is exactly the same. For the next several free VPNs I'm about to mention, all you gotta do is repeat the steps. All right, so what other VPNs do I recommend that are free? Let's head back over to the Google Play Store and I'll show you which ones you could check out. All right, so we're back over at our Android device, Galaxy Tab. I want you guys to check out VPN Speed. A VPN Speed is another free VPN. See it right here. Now, if you guys want to check this one out and want to sideload it to your um, your Fire Stick, just hit Install and repeat the same steps that we did to sideload the Ultra Surf free VPN service. So check that out right here. It's called VPN Speed, free, unlimited bandwidth, one of the fastest free VPNs out there. Next one I want to talk about is VPN Master. Click on VPN Master. Another great free VPN. If you want to sideload this onto your Android device, repeat the steps that we use for the Ultra Surf VPN and you get it onto your device. Torrent friendly VPN. You see it right there. I'll let you guys read the rest of that. I'll give you guys one more free VPN that's worth using. You can check out Turbo VPN. Turbo VPN, another great one right here. Protects your privacy, you remain anonymous, about as good as you get for free VPNs. So you can check this one out as well. And again, if you want to install it, just sideload it the same way we did the Ultra Surf earlier in the video. All right, guys, that's top five free VPN services in my opinion. But if this is not enough for you and you want total anonymity and um, protection and privacy protection, you're going to want to check out paid VPN services. So join me in the next video. We'll go over some paid VPN services that will give you the ultimate protection. All right, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video clip.